Today's canal cruise is scheduled to take six and a half hours. So to keep this video short, I'm dividing it into three sections. The Black Country countryside, the locks and the tunnels. Unfortunately, no sooner had we arrived, but we were greeted by a light rain shower which required a tarpaulin to be fitted on the boat. It's nice weather for these guys, but not so good for photographers. The rain soon eases off and we get our first view of the countryside. The boat has its full complement of 60 passengers, which means that the foot room is rather limited in the bow of the boat. You've probably heard the same Birmingham's more canals than Venice. Well, that's true, but originally that sign was about Tipton. It's just Tipton's own. There is a lot of bird life, both on the water and in the bushes alongside the canal. The number of anglers in the UK has dropped from 20,000 in the mid-90s to 11,000 today. Some fishermen seem to require more equipment than others. Nothing much to seems to put this coot off in its hunt for food. This canal tug is on its way to a gathering of tugs being held on the Dudley canals this weekend. This is where our commentator changes roles to becoming the lock keeper and he really has his work cut out. Raising and lowering the sluice gates governs the flow of water 
through the locks. He gets a pretty good physical workout managing these sluices. We make slow progress through this flight of locks, but it does give the opportunity for the passengers to get out and stretch their legs along the towpath. These narrowboats were built very strong to withstand the odd bump or two. At the beginning of this cruise, we were warned to keep our hands inside the boat for very good reasons. They may be called narrow boats, but they're pretty long as well. In this case, 70 feet. all been issued with hard hats because the next tunnel is pretty low and there's quite a lot of water coming through the ceiling. And that's his last lock gate. I am now going to hand over to our commentator who is far more qualified to take us through the three mile long Dudley number two tunnel. Sunk into the mine. Uh, 
then after that to rebuild it all, everything sinks into the morning around here. Yeah? And what they did is actually built it higher so as they could allow them some more sinkage. It's over blue coal seams, over coal mines, over iron ore mines, under iron ore mines, and through some limestone caverns. We've got everything going on. Believe it or not, we are actually entering the cauldron of an extinct volcano. So, it's uh, been a pleasure taking you around, folks. Thanks for coming and seeing us today. Enjoy the rest of your day. You've done a good job. Thank you. So far, I can only get one track up. Yeah. So, we've got a solid with two at the park. Yeah, yeah. And it's that far from the edge of the tunnel and yeah, that much yeah. in the middle when you two trucks. You've done a good job of putting around with it. And there, it's absolutely dangerous. You know what it's like to move them. Move them, things are working on them now. It's not a glorious place to put because it's going to be there. They should make it a, a, a brick.